a formal figure would have been given once all the plans and everything were determined? I don't know how accurate the figure was, but a figure near, very closely approximate to the actual figure was known in 2012, and it was known for the con for the purpose of finance. But the final figure, which is the figure we're throwing it down, 652, is that what it was? You don't know when that final figure was finally ascertained. I do not know when the final figure was ascertained. Do you know if Bob Jenny knew it ahead of you and the council? Um, I do not know that, but I don't know how he would have known because that information would have flown, flowed to council and the mayor through Mr. Jenny. Do you know if he shared it with the council and the mayor as soon as he got the information? The, the amount? Yeah. Okay. You're talking about the amount, not the funding. Yeah, the amount. Okay. Uh, so repeat the question again? Well, do you have any knowledge that Bob Jenny failed to share the number representing the project costs um, that he didn't share it with the council and the mayor? No. What you're claiming he failed to do is to get action taken to get the bond on the ballot earlier. I can know how much a Ferrari costs, but I better figure out my funding too. Are you going to get one for the city? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I have no other questions. Does the administration intend to call any other witnesses or present any other further evidence in the cities? I, I do not. Okay. Does the council the council like to call any other witnesses or introduce any more evidence? Or? If not, I would suggest that then that Mr. Bradley wants to put on everything. Just a little bit of case, Yeah. This would be the appropriate time. Yeah. I'm going to recall uh, Mr. Jenny, and you're still under oath, Bob, okay? Have you heard the testimony here today from the mayor? Yes. Um, first of all, when did you first find out the cost of the project for the LT2 to be roughly 650000 We didn't know exactly what it was going to cost because there was two different formats that we submitted to <coughs> DNR to try and rectify our ticket to reach those requirements. We had originally thought that the cartridge study, which was conducted and started in 2012, was going to fulfill those requirements. It wasn't until 2014 that we found out that DNR wasn't going to go ahead with, with the cartridge study and that we would have to go the UV route, the ultraviolet light route. So it wasn't until that part of time when we even got a ballpark figure of what it was going to cost. That's when I got a ballpark figure from Klinger and Associates and relayed that to the mayor. Because you were going to go not filters in the UVA, uh, was that something that was going to be more costly to the city? UV was, yeah, the cartridge filters would have been less expensive and that's why we went that route to have the University of Missouri do this whole experiment for the city and that. And um, then it was, then MDNR said, nope, that's not going to be a, a viable solution. <coughs> Were you in any way dilatory in, in taking appropriate actions to get funding, whether it was going to be the bond issue or whatever? As far as getting funding, it had to be dependent upon what decisions were finally going to be made by MDNR as far as which route we could go. And that wasn't made until then? Basically, I want to say, we did, I think it was December of 2014 when we received notice that the cartridge filter was not the Just two months ago? Uh, no, not December. Uh, 2014. Um, it would have probably been June, June or July of 2014. So once you found that information out, then did you take all actions necessary and prudent for you to assist the city in getting financing for the project? And I asked for Klinger to provide me with the figures and then we would pursue financing. Did you timely do that? Yes. Were you dilatory in any way about that? No. 
do you believe that the conclusions reached by the mayor based on the statements that he made are accurate or inaccurate? Some are accurate and some are inaccurate. All right. I want you to make a statement <coughs> explaining to the council why you believe that the conclusions reached by uh, Mayor Needner that you were dilatory or incompetent in handling the financing aspect of the LT2 project? I don't believe I was dilatory in the LT2 project. Um, what I may be guilty of was trying to juggle too many projects at one time. Are you talking about the chief of police as well as the... Uh, Between the chief of police, the Noy Creek Board, and um, the booster station situation. Well, let me be clear again. Are you saying that you did or did not fail to perform correctly for the city of Louisiana to get the financing set up? I don't believe I failed to perform correctly. Um, obviously, I was able to do an $8 million bond issue on a sewer treatment plant that's up and running. I have no further questions. I just have one question about that. Do you recall me asking you whether or not we could use the bond, the wastewater bond issue funds to cover the smoke and camera stay? We can, we could not. But in the January 15th meeting where Mark Bross was here and the financing person, they said in fact we can. That's not correct. So you're saying to me that what they said that night to us is not correct? Yes. Okay. That's all. And I confirmed that with Mark Bross today. bond issue including smoke testing and the camera work. It wasn't in there. It was not in the bond issue. Okay. I, I don't know how I, and I know what Mark said that night and I don't disagree with what Miss Lewis is saying. You're just saying the engineer was wrong. I'm not saying it was wrong. I said that's not what he told me. arbitrary number, but it was dependent upon which that happens frequently <coughs> where when you go for bond authority, which is basically the You always go for more than what you need. Right. And you frequently go for the bond authority well in advance of knowing the specific numbers. It's one of the reasons that the actual service agreements and stuff come in pieces. And, reason, and the, the reason the three million dollars was so high was because of the cost of the booster station project. So my question is, could bond authority have been pursued on the estimate that was known, the rough estimate that was known since 2012 at $650,000? Yes. It could have been pursued as early as 2012. Yes, but consider, given the fact that we had run the $8 million bond issue on the wastewater treatment plant, that wasn't a prudent idea at that time. In different administration. Questions? Okay, no more questions. Then. Is any other uh, information or evidence okay? Then I think we will <laughs> move on. I think you sort of already did this, but the, I think this would be your time for your yeah. closing summation. 
Well, let me point out that you do have some documents and you do have a CD. If you want to look at them, mm -hmm. that's a good choice. Just in summary, I would just simply say that uh, Bob, Jeannie, and I recognize that the uh, city has the power, the discretion to terminate him, you know, without cause at all. We understand that. Um, we're not disputing that. Uh, but um, if you look at your handbook, once again, I interpret it to require that there be, you know, some efforts made to improve the circumstances. Uh, if you look under uh, F disciplinary actions on page 32, it says employees and supervisors' responsibilities. It's the duty of every employee to attempt to correct any faults in his performance when called to his attention, to make every effort to avoid conflict with the city's rules and regulations. It's the duty of every supervisor to discuss improper, inadequate performances with the employee in order to correct the deficiencies and to avoid the need to exercise disciplinary actions. Uh, you know, this is a case of went from zero to 100 in two days. He went from thinking everything was fine and to be terminated in two days. Yes, you have the power to do it, but when it's being done for alleged incompetency, when you're given a reason to the council and wanting to, to vote on it, I think the facts need to support it. The council tonight has got to decide whether they think the facts support, support the action previously taken. Um, do you believe that the interpretation of the mayor is accurate? Do you believe the interpretation of uh, Bob Jenny is accurate. That's for this body to decide. It's within your purview to make that decision. Um, it's in the purview of Bob Jenny to take further action down the road if he feels he's been improperly uh, terminated. I, I, I would just respectfully suggest that maybe you ought to find that middle ground here and maybe you ought to try to resolve this in a way that's palatable to everyone because in my experience in the 40 years I've been practicing law that quick decisions are generally not good decisions. And you went from, in a 48 hour period to thinking everything was fine with your public and with your city administrators to terminate. And so I would ask you to reconsider your position and to do the right thing. Thank you. no cost removal. That decision to remove has already been made. The decision to remove was not shown to be an error. Therefore, the decision of the City Council should stand. Okay, uh, do you have a rebuttal uh, statement you want to make? No, let's end this and All right. move on. Then it would be time for the Council to deliberate. So, I believe deliberation would simply be this is Put the question to the council. And um, so we'll take up the question. Uh, does the city council wish to overturn their previous decision removing Mr. Ginny as city administrator? Pursuant to the spirit of section 115240 and majority vote of the seats in the vacancy will be required. A yes vote will restore Mr. Ginny as city administrator. A no vote will sustain his removal. Yes to restore, no to remove. So I'll restate the question. Does the city council wish to overturn the previous decision removing Mr. Jimmy as city administrator? Please call the vote. Before you do, let me rise to a point of order and ask you, are you suggesting that it only takes a majority vote at this time? 
No. I, I, specifically I thought that you said that. Did I mishear well, you? I, I, I suggest I said a majority vote of the seats. I don't believe that to be accurate. Okay. Would you believe that it should require a, a, uh, a what, three quarter three? vote? Okay. I, I will, the city uh, cedes that uh, recommendation. This will require a three quarter affirmative vote. Does the city council wish to overturn their previous decision removing Mr. Jimmy as city administrator? Yes to restore. That would be an affirmative. No to remove. It will require a three fourths vote. Mr. Mayor, I have to point out that the ordinance 115 requires a three fourths vote if the council's action is independently of the mayor's approval or disapproval. If the mayor is recommended removal, I suggest that it requires a, a simple majority of the seats. Because that's what the ordinance provides. Let me point out that a three quarter vote to the affirmative of this motion would be disadvantageous to Mr. Jimmy. Let me read the section again, please. Again, post a question. Yes, being to restore, no to be to remove. Does the city council wish to overturn their previous decision removing Mr. Jimmy as city administrator? Please call the vote. Mrs. Brown? No. Mr. Day? No. Mr. Mayor? No. Mrs. Brown? No. Five to two, no, which is to remove. And the removal of our city administrator stands. Uh, do you have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Second. Please call the roll. Before you do that, let me ask you, at what point in time do you want to address this issue of chief of police? Um, if Mr. Jenny would...